Hey everyone, welcome to this psychology lecture series. In this video, we are going to talk about types of psychological tests. Psychological testing is also known as psychometrics. Psychological testing comes under psychological assessment. Psychological test is a process to measure characteristics of human beings, be it adult or child, with respect to their behavior. It can be used to measure past or current behavior and sometimes it can also predict future behavior. Psychological tests can be written visual or verbal. Let us now take a look at some of the psychological tests on the basis of behavior. Achievement tests are used to measure an individual's knowledge in a particular domain. Academic achievement tests are designed to be administered by a trained evaluator to an individual or a group of people. Some of the examples of achievement tests are Weschler's Individual Achievement Test, Kaufman Test of Educational Achievement, Peabody Individual Achievement Test. Aptitude tests are designed to measure an individual's spatial, numerical, clerical or mechanical aptitudes. An example of occupational aptitude test is the Minnesota Clerical Test. A widely used aptitude test in business is the Wunderlich test. Intelligent tests are used to measure the intelligence or the level of cognitive functioning of the individuals. Some of the commonly used intelligence tests are Weschler's Intelligence Scale for Children, Weschler's Adult Intelligence Scale and Stanford Binet Intelligence Scale. The Emotional Intelligence Test will evaluate several aspects of our emotional intelligence and some will even suggest us ways to improve it. Some of the examples of emotional intelligence tests are the Emotional Quotient Inventory 2.0, Profile of Emotional Competence, the Trad Emotional Intelligence Questionnaire, Wong's Emotional Intelligence Scale. Personality tests are used to measure the characteristic patterns of traits that people exhibit across various situations. Personality tests can be used to help clarify a clinical diagnosis, guide therapeutic interventions, and help to predict how people may respond in various situations. Two types of personality tests are self-report inventories, which involve having test takers read questions and then rate how well the question or statement applies to them. The most common self-report inventory is the Minnesota Multiphasic Personality Inventory. The next type is the projective tests and that involves presenting the test taker with a vague scene, object or scenario and then asking them to give their interpretation of the test item. Some of the common examples of this type of personality tests are thematic A perception test and Rorschach ink plot test. Other commonly used personality tests are Myers Briggs type indicator that is MBTI and the 16 personality factor questionnaire. Attitude tests are used to measure the individual's reaction towards a certain event object or towards another person. Usually, a Likert scale or a Thurston scale will be used to measure these type of tests. The Thurston scale was developed by Leon Thurston in 1928. It was first used to measure attitude towards religion but later it found its application in sociology and psychology. Four years later, Likert scale was developed to simplify the original Thurston scale and make it more reliable. Neuropsychological tests used to measure a psychological function known to be linked to a particular brain structure or pathway. They usually involve the systematic administration of clearly defined procedures in a formal environment. These kinds of tests 
are conducted to check the proper cognitive functioning of the brain. Some of the typical examples of these tests are Benton Visual Retention Test, Wisconsin Card Sorting Test, Halstead Retain Neuropsychological Test Battery. Interest tests are used to measure the interests possessed by an individual such as interest in gardening, literary interest, interest in social work and etc. Some of the other types of tests are mood and motivation tests, adjustment inventories or tests and specific clinical tests. I hope you like this video. Do subscribe and thank you for watching.